Hi, this is Philip doing another video tutorial on Escozia uh, PBX. Uh, this time what we're going to do is set voicemail up on the system so that we can get uh, email notifications of when people leave us a, a voicemail or a uh, notification of when someone's tried to call us but not actually left a, as a voicemail. Um, so what this can do is so that we can see the number and then call them back if uh, you know we recognize the number or you know if you're expecting a call and you missed it then obviously you've got the number in front of you in your email and then you can just call it back so on our uh, test uh, system that I've got set up here we're um, I'm going to log into this uh, virtual uh, box with 192.168.200.60 so I've already entered it into uh, Firefox and we get the web uh, GUI pop up for um, Escozia PBX. So in order to set a voicemail up on the system what we're going to do is click on uh, a voicemail under services and then what we're going to do is configure the host name, the email address and the uh, from email address. So I'm just going to type in smtp.ntlworld.com uh, because that's my uh, provider. Uh, the email address uh, that I want it to uh, show to NTR World will just be uh, voicemail at philip-cooper.co.uk um, If your uh, email SMTP server requires you to log in uh, to it then you can enter your username and password and choose what method to um, log in. So I'm just going to leave this on auto for the time being and my SMTP server does not require me to um, authenticate. Uh, so we move down to. Oh, I just want to point out that once you've got all this uh, up and running and you've clicked on save, if you then ever have any um, problems in receiving um, email, you can type an email address in there, click on email me, and it will send you a quick email test to you know, show you that the system's either working or um, that there's a problem with uh, email somewhere across the. Um, the, the whole email path to yourself. Um, so here under presentation what we're going to do is click on uh, and enter um, voicemail um, at philip .co.uk. So basically all voicemail that I get will now present as, as that uh, or the email address that it comes from will be that there. Um, I'm obviously uh, wanting it in English um, as opposed to um, any of these other languages so I'm just going to leave that as the default as English. What Escozi PBX also has the ability to do is we can customize our email uh, that we get from Escozi PBX with our um, our voicemail in there. Um, so if you put a tick in there then you can obviously type in a custom subject and a custom body and we can use any of these variables um, that Escozia has provided for us. So, you know, VM underscore mailbox is obviously the extension number of the mailbox. Uh, VM underscore name, the name of the you know, the person whose extension it is, uh, and so on. So, I'm not going to use this for the time being. I'm just going to click save. So, we've now set up uh, the global voicemail settings. Now what we can go and do is set up voicemail on a per extension basis um, and to do this we're going to click on phones and I already have a SIP phone set up here um, from a, fi a previous uh, video so I'm just going to click on the little uh, cog here and uh, that will enable us to edit some options on the actual extension itself. So under where it says voicemail, I'm just going to enter um, the email address that I wanted to go to. So in my case, I just wanted to go to um, philip at philip .uk. Um And I also want uh, missed call notifications. So I'm going to click on, um, you know, put a tick in the missed call notifications. And what this will do is email me um, when somebody calls me. Um, and then if they get through to leave a voicemail then it will obviously email me again to uh, say that we, you, you've got a voicemail and you know, here's who it came from. So I want both of those um, things to come through to me. So I'm just going to click on save. And so now that we've clicked on save we now have voicemail set up for the global options within Escozia PBX and uh, on a per extension basis. 
Uh, what I'll show you now is just the actual email itself that comes through to you when uh, you get uh, a voicemail. So here's one that's uh, come through to me um, today um, from another extension that I've got set up. Um, so it just says, you know, dear Philip, um, a call from extension 210 uh, landed in your voicemail box. It's uh, 10 seconds long and here's the date and time and then I've just customized the message to say the telephone voicemail system. Um, you can put anything in here and all, all of these are um, variables from the system itself so you can uh, set up different um, you know, variables and have it customize, you know, this message customized in any way that you want and obviously the, uh, the WAV file with the voicemail is attached. Um, another thing we I put a uh, a tick in the in this box here to say I wanted miss call notifications. So I have a miss call from um, 202. Uh, sorry, uh, 210. So it just basically says that uh, on this date at that time I had a miss call from uh, this number. Um, if I'd actually invented the name of this extension then it would have been the extension number and then in these uh, brackets I'd have had uh, the name of the person that uh, tried to call me as well but um, on the system that I've set up I don't currently have their name in there um, I will be putting the name in there shortly but for this demonstration I didn't bother putting the name in there so I hope this has been informative and thank you for watching